Before I show you how you can promote your book in Germany, I want to give you a short introduction and overview of the German market. So let's have a look at the ebook market first. Germany has the third largest ebook market of all developed countries in the world at the moment, with a rising market share. For example, in 2014, the ebook market share was 4.9% of the total book market, at least according to the German Booksellers and Publishers Association. That corresponds to about 3.9 million people buying ebooks. This rose to 5.6% in 2015 and continues to increase. These numbers might actually be underestimated. For example, the Global eBook Report of 2016 stated that several of the major German publishing houses already get more than 10 or even more than 15% of their sales from eBooks. And of course, you have to consider that it's not only people from Germany who read German books, but also from Austria, as well as parts of Switzerland and even a small part of Italy. In this graph you can see an overview of the market shares for different German ebook stores from 2012, but the numbers haven't changed significantly in the last few years. For example, if you look at Amazon at the top of the chart, it had a market share of 41% in 2012 and of 39% in 2014, so it actually decreased. And even though Amazon is at the top here, it has a much smaller percentage of the German market than, for example, of the US market. So who are the other players? It's not Kobo. Kobo is only around 5% or even less in Germany. iTunes is bigger, around 10% to 15% of the market share. But all of the rest of these stores that I have colored red, separately they don't make up much of a number compared to Amazon, but taken together, they actually overtook the market share of Amazon in 2014 with 45%. So why do I take them all together? Because they all belong to the so-called Tolino Alliance. You might have heard of Tolino before. Many assume Tolino is just another store like Amazon or iTunes, but it's actually an alliance of several different bookstores. And they all came together because they wanted to form a competition for Amazon. And apparently they succeeded, in Germany at least. Tolino stores sell their own e-readers, the Tolino Reader. After the success of Amazon's KDP in Germany, Tolino stores decided to open up their own self-publishing platform in 2015, which is called Tolino Media. Tolino Media is like KDP or Kobo Writing Life, a platform where you can directly upload your book and publish it in their stores. If you live in the US or any other country except Germany and you don't speak German, I wouldn't recommend going direct through Tolino Media, but rather I would recommend using an ebook aggregator, either Draft to Digital or Smashwords, because they also deliver books to Tolino, all of the Tolino stores so you won't have to worry about using the German interface or having a European bank account or any of that. So the question is not how can you publish on Tolino, but should you publish on Tolino? Or is it enough to go Amazon exclusive in Germany? The answer may seem obvious because Tolino does have 50% of the market share in Germany. But if you look at most of the indie authors, they still get the majority of their revenue from Amazon and probably around 15 to 20 percent from Tolino. Of course that doesn't mean I recommend going Amazon exclusive, it's just something to consider. So let's have a look at the website of talia.de which is one of the biggest stores of the Tolino Alliance. They sell books, ebooks, of course the Tolino e-reader as well, audiobooks, films, music, games and other things. So if we have a look at the ebook section, you can see of course different categories like English ebooks, right at the top 
fantasy and science fiction, children and young adult, and so on. You can also find ebook deals, new releases, pre orders, the bestsellers, and self publishing. Let's have a look at self publishing. In self publishing, Tolino sorts all of the books that have been published by authors through Tolino Media, their self publishing platform. Now, you could argue whether it's good or bad that they have their own category. On the one hand, it's less competition, perhaps, to the big bestsellers of traditional publishing. On the other hand, it seems like they are put into a separate corner somehow. However, if you go through a distributor like Draft2Digital, your books will end up in the normal ebook categories on the side and not just in the self-publishing section. So going back to Amazon, which, as I said, still makes up the lion's share for sales and income for most indie authors. The German Amazon store is Amazon.de. More than 40% of the titles in the top 100 Kindle bookstore are from indie authors. Average prices of ebooks from indies are between 299 and 499 euro. Now, because the German ebook market is smaller than the US, of course you're not going to sell as many copies, but you're also not going to need as many sales to rise higher in the ranking. If you're number one in the paid Kindle store, you're selling about a thousand copies of your book per day. In the top 100, it's still more than 60 copies, and in the top 1000, more than 15. And this is probably much smaller than the numbers you can reach if you're number one on the Amazon.com paid Kindle store. The German Amazon store also has Kindle Unlimited as an option. So if you choose to put your book into KDP Select, it will be available for borrows. It's also possible to do pre-orders on Amazon.de, as well as on Tolino, by the way. You can set up pre-orders on Tolino through Draft2Digital, for example, and they work similar to iTunes and Kobo pre-orders in that they are assetless. That means you don't have to have a manuscript finished or even a cover to set up your pre-order. It can be done one year in advance. And the sales that you get during the pre-order period are all going to be counted into your sales ranking once the book is released. Let's have a short look at the German Amazon Kindle store on Amazon.de. If you want to look at the best sellers, click here. And just as you're used to on Amazon.com, you can see all of the categories on the side. And as you probably know, it's a good idea to choose a category for your book that is not so competitive, so you'll have a higher chance of rising into the top 100 of the bestseller charts. And on the other hand, is also still popular enough that you'll make decent sales. If you want some help figuring out what category would be most suitable to your book and which are the best selling ones in Germany, go to IndiesGoGerman.com. This is my blog. And here you can download the free Amazon category cheat sheet where you can find out the most popular genres and how much you could expect to sell there. I've mentioned that you can use ebook distributors like Draft2Digital or Smashwords as services that allow you to distribute your ebook to different stores. And just to give you an overview, here's a list of ebook distribution services specifically for German books. The first one is Neobooks, which is the market leader at the moment. There's also ePubli. They also offer print-on-demand packages. The same goes for Books on Demand, BOD, which is the largest print-on-demand service in Germany. So if you ever think about doing German paperbacks, you could either use CreateSpace, an American company, or Books on Demand. With Books on Demand, you'd have the added benefit of being able to get into bookstores in Germany. 
because they have contracts with wholesalers and bookstore owners will only order books from these wholesalers and not from CreateSpace because it's an Amazon uh, company. Again, if you're an author from the US or UK, I would recommend going through draft to digital if you want to reach Tolino. All right, that's it for the introduction on the German ebook market. In the next video, we're going to look at some legal considerations for publishing and marketing books in Germany.